What's up, guys? This is Inhander from Fear Productions. Hope you guys are doing uh, well. Everyone is uh, safe and uh, healthy um, during this uh, time that we're going through right now. Um, just wanted to uh, review an item that I picked up. Um, as most of you know, a lot, a lot, if not everything, is pretty much shut down right now. Um, most of the local ranges in my area are shut down um, or they're by appointment only and you're only allowed one or two people in at a time and it's just inconvenient um, I know it's a pretty bad that's a bad word to you know to phrase it as but uh, it you know it's it's hard to get to the range at this point so I decided uh, I was speaking with my buddy who who uses this system on a regular basis and he's he uh, Highly recommended it, and well before all of this went down with uh, the pandemic, um, he uh, he brought it over and let me try it out. I thought it was really cool, and I decided to pick it up and uh, give it a go, and was really impressed. So, um, what I'm going to show you today, and I'll do a little demonstration out in the hallway because that's actually where I uh, have been practicing is the iTarget Pro dry fire training system. Um, get the box here. Oh. So when you get it, you'll get a box like this. That's if you get the entire system. So the entire system includes the sled, a target, and a, uh, a laser bullet. And I think they have um, nine millimeter, 40, 45, 38, and five five six. I'm pretty sure. Um, go to the website, check them out. Um, if you're, you know, if this video convinces you that this is something that you, that you'd like to try, um, I highly recommend that dry fire is a is something that every shooter, you know, should be doing. Um, but uh, when you when you purchase it, you'll get you know you'll get your instructions, which I highly recommend reading through the instructions when you get it. Um, I have mostly everything in the box here because I'm not using the sled currently. I actually have um, you'll see everything because I'll put my helmet camera on, go out in the hallway, and kind of give you guys a visual of what I do when I train. Um, so we'll do that here shortly. So you get your instructions. You will get the uh, back portion of the sled, which comes with the target. Um, you can download these targets from the iTarget Pro website. And then that portion there attaches to the sled portion. So we would do this number here, like this. This is only part of it, and then your phone would mount here. So your phone, you would download an app, and it's on the uh, Android store and the App Store for iPhone. Um, you put your phone in here. Let me set it down here. I'll actually put my phone in here and briefly show it to you. It's just the iTarget Pro app. The base app is free, and the base app offers you the bullseye um, Portion for $5.99, I believe $4.99 or $5.99. You can download the Quick Draw app, which puts you on a timer, a shot timer. I've downloaded obviously both of them because I like to train to a uh, shot timer. So we'll go ahead and put that in here. See if I, I can. Uh, let you guys see what the camera sees. So, you basically move the sled to where the uh, target is centered. Now you can zoom it in. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, here we go. You can zoom it in here or you can move the sled back and forth. You have to center the target and you'll also be able to you have to zero the target to where you want it, like that. 
and then I'll show you out there in the hallway because my hallway, depending on if it's a sunny day or overcast like it is today, you have to um, adjust the lighting sensitivity. Now, right now I have it set to automatic. It looks like it's actually working pretty well. Um, you want it pretty much black except for the laser, which I'll show you here in a minute. But uh, you set it up like this if you're going to use the sled, which I'm not using. Like I said earlier, I'm not using the sled. I'm using my own tripod and target, which you'll see out there. It's a um, man-sized target that I used to train, um, train with normally. It's a normal law enforcement size target. But that's every well, that's not everything you get. Let me put this stuff away here and get organized, and I'll show you the laser bullet. Really cool system. I plan on picking up a bullet for laser bullet for the 45 and for 556 to be able to dry fire train those. So here is the laser bullet that is for 9mm. Now I don't have my normal carry if I'm wearing a jacket or something, but my compact carry, I'll get it out here. Give me just a moment. It's my uh, Smith & Wesson shield in an Alien Gear Cloak Tuck 3.0 holster, great holster. Okay. Gun is empty. Gun had lint in it, which I don't want to have in it. Try to keep them clean. But so here's your uh, your nine millimeter uh, laser bullet, and you're probably thinking, man, that looks pretty long. Here's a uh, pretty old 9mm hollow point that I've been carrying. Don't worry, I have replacement ammo. This is going to be going away as soon as I can get to the range and test out my new carry ammo. But uh, so basically, now the instructions say that you, you're just going to drop this down the barrel um, from the breech. The instructions say if there's any resistance to oil the O-rings right here and it should go in fine. I have a, there's a little bit of resistance on it, but uh, actually let me do one thing. When you get this, I forgot to mention, you want to unscrew it up here because it does come with three batteries installed and you get three extras. There's a little battery protector in there that keeps it from draining the battery in case the uh, firing pin or the striker activator laser pointer gets hit. So we're just going to drop it down the breech. And for some reason, for my shield, it is pretty hard to push it down the barrel. Now for my MMP9 it goes right in with little resistance and then you slowly let the slide down just like so. Now I don't know if I'll be able to you see now of course you have to So you're thinking, well, what does that do? So that laser interacts with the app when you have it on target and the sensitivity is uh, dialed in. And wherever that laser hits on the target, if the, uh, I'll show you out there, if it is, if you have everything set precisely, it doesn't take that long to do, five minutes, if that. Um, and it registers the hit on the app. You'll uh, you'll see it on the app 
and it, you know it'll register it'll score you depending on the hitbox and where you set it where you saw me sizing the circle it'll it knows that that center red circle is 10 points and then as you go out 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and then everything outside of that it doesn't even register so I'll show show you that when I get the helmet camera which I might not do the helmet camera for that I might get my iPad and do a separate video once everything's set up and add it to this one now once it's in the gun it's not going to automatically eject or extract because there's nothing on the there's no rim for it to extract so you have to get a pen or a pencil which I don't have with me here right now do I? yeah I do can't go down the bell no, it's too thick anyway pen or a pencil something thin enough to go down the barrel pop it out that's per the instructions so I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, get this out of here go get everything set up out there get my helmet camera ready and uh, I'll show you and demonstrate the system. It's really cool. It helps you um, with your dry firing, trigger control, um, learning what you do and how easily you mess up. I'll say that. I, I've, I've seen myself mess up in points that I didn't think I would mess up. So we'll go out there and I'll show you. It's really cool. Okay, I'm out here in my hallway now, and I first want to apologize because the lighting is obviously terrible in this hallway, so the, the video is going to look a little bit grainy. I'm filming this on my iPad out in the hallway with altered lighting, and you'll see that when I walk down here. Um, because of how this system interfaces with the laser and the light, I had to cover up one of my windows with towels, which looks completely ghetto but it works. It also goes, you know, it's an overcast day and it's raining outside right now, so I probably don't necessarily need one of the towels. When I set the system up for the first time, it was a beautiful day outside and the sun was blaring down in the hallway and I needed both towels to completely cover the window for this system to work. This is the best place in my house that I can currently do this. Um, to give you a little idea, let me see if I can flip the video. Okay, to give you an idea, like here's my stairwell, and I pretty much stand at the edge of it. And from here to the target is 19 feet. Um, so we'll go down here. I'm going to show you a few things again. Sorry for the graininess, um, but this is what we've got to work with. I'm keeping it dark like this so I can show you what's going on on the uh, the app itself. Um, I have the uh, laser bullet right here. So this is what we'll, you'd see if um, you download the app. If you pay to get the quick draw, this will light up and of course the high score is coming soon. For the intents and purposes of this video, I'm going to do just the bullseye because that's all you would get if you just downloaded the app. So let's go into that. You'll get, uh, let's see if I can, there we go. The uh, safety precautions, all the good stuff there. Click continue. And then you're presented with the image of your target. Target. Of course, it's a lot lighter on the camera. Let me put the safety bullet or the laser bullet in my pocket here for a second. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is make sure the target, so we're on the circular target, we want to be on the man size target, focus it, you know, the two kill zones, you know, as best as you can, something like that. Um, it's automatically going to come zoomed in like that with an automatic zoom. You can zoom in, zoom out. Just leave, I typically just leave it like that because it auto do, you know, it automatically does that. Um, the next thing you always want to check. Now this is where the adjustments are going to take place depending on your lighting situation and the target you're using. Now granted, I'm not using the target that was provided with the system that usually works about 90% of the time without much adjustment. 
given that I'm using a target that is primarily black with just the red central target zone. Notice I've made my own target zone up at the head because I'm practicing headshots. Those are what the light sensitivity focuses on. If you go into the wrench icon here for the settings, you, you'll be presented with these three options. You have automatic, which is what the default setting is, low light and indoors. I found that in the hallway here, automatic is my best option. This is what happens if you adjust it, you know, one way or the other too much. If you go all the way, this is what happens. You try to shoot with it like that. As soon as you hit go, you're just going to get hit random hit boxes here in the central zone of the target. Now let's knock it down to here, just where we're at the black. Let me get the laser bullet. This is what you want to do to make sure that you're getting good pinpoint accuracy with the laser. Now you see that white spot that's showing up on there? That means we have the sensitivity hit too high. So we're going to turn that off. Let's lower it down to about a half. There. Now you notice, there we go. It's not picking up anything, it's barely picking up things in here, which is the eighth zone. This is the seven zone. This, that's the seven zone. There's the eight. It's picking up the laser, but it's not going to register hits in that zone, which that's good. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit more. The less sensitive, the better. That's going to our kill zone there. And there's our head box right there. So I do have my M&P on me right now. Before I put my helmet camera on and show you guys what this is doing, I'm going to load this in here and just show you. I'm going to back up briefly and just show you what it looks like, and then I'll put the helmet camera on and demonstrate. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit the play button. And here you, have, you can see you have your score. Let me. There we go. You have your score and your shots fired. Um, right before this, you can also enter in your distance, but I don't think it really does anything for the target mode. I'm going to spin around here really quick for a second and show you. I've got my MP9 magazine is empty. It's in here for just practice purposes and the laser bullet is inserted. So I'm gonna go ahead and do not, do not use your mag release or release the slide on this as you normally would a round or a snap cap or anything like that. It can damage it. So let me, uh, I'm gonna release the slide safely and then demonstrate quickly and then I'll put the helmet cam on. All right, now, if I remember to turn the sound on my phone, you should be able to line up. See if I can do this while holding the iPad. There we go. And then of course, sorry for the view there, you have to cock the gun every time. Do it again. So we'll zoom in here. So of course I was aiming at the head. We'll do one really quick shot to the uh, body hitbox. Okay. Of course I was at the outer edge. I'm not even looking. I'm actually trying to aim through the the eye, well, not really through the iPad, but you can see that's kind of what it looks like. I'm going to uh, go ahead and put my helmet camera on, and we'll go back to the 19, the 19 foot line, and I'll show you guys. You know, kind of. I mean, it does that, but I might switch it over to the quick draw and show you guys that because it puts it on a shot timer. It's actually pretty nice. Um, really quick. 
when you want to end it, you can, uh, it tells you your score, your shots fired. Now, I've never seen this thing unless it was really messing up. I've never seen it score anything lower than a seven. So keep that in mind. It's not a perfect system, but it is something to help you, uh, help you along your way. And uh, let me get the helmet camera and everything set up and we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'm out here. Well, out here. I am at 19 feet. That is the most I can be at before I fall down my steps. So I'm going to demonstrate briefly here this system. Um, I've got everything set up. It's ready to go. Um, the laser's in there, so we're going to go ahead and just take a few shots. I already have it started. Um, hopefully the lighting doesn't change in here much, so I'm going to do a couple headshots. I missed that one. There's one. Shooting high. There we go. Cat's feet are going off in there in the bathroom. Okay. We'll do a couple. Well, I don't even know if I can hit the body shot. Sneak over here to the side. So, as you can see, I mean, it's not a perfect system, but I don't know if you can you'd be able to see it on the camera here. I'll try to get down a little bit lower. Um, it's fairly accurate, um, but judging from the lasers, the couple first shots that I took there, it shows you what you're doing wrong. Um, my trigger pool was not correct those first two shot two or three shots whatever it was and I clearly missed the uh, the little head zone that I have up there it was right on top of it but I missed it so um, repetition it helps you get your uh, dry fire trigger pool um, this system, I can't remember if I mentioned it earlier in the video, was I think a hundred dollars total because it came with the bullet and then everything that I talked about earlier. There are other systems that are uh, available. I think Dry Fire is an actual brand and there are a couple of other ones. They're all similar. They all do the same thing. I'll take a few shots here up, up close at the body. See how it registers it on there. Now you can see where the I actually registered that one. Now if I hit the nine box over here, it actually registers an eight. Depends on where you hit in the black. Um, let me get up here and see if I can get it to register a little bit. I didn't. Let me turn this off here. I don't know if you can even see this on the camera. It all goes by the sensitivity and where the where your target zone is. If it hits outside of that little the darker red areas, it's not going to register at all. So you have to you have to worry about that. But if you have a, a longer area to work with, that'd be great. Um, I would like to take this out in my garage and at least get 25 feet if I can do that. But this works for now, other than the odd lighting that it, that's up here in my hallway. Am I happy about the purchase? I am. Once you get the sensitivity and the lighting and everything taken care of, you're good to go. And it definitely helps with the practice. But uh, definitely worth it. Definitely get, uh, get some dry fire practice in. And... Uh, Something's better than nothing, but it's also something that uh, 
every um, everyone should be doing and practicing on a daily basis. Even if it's five, ten minutes a day, um, that's all you really need. So hope this video is informative to you guys, helpful. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the uh, comment section below. Direct message me. Um, visit our Facebook page. Um, I'll uh, try to respond as quickly as possible. So thanks, God bless, and have a great day.